Do you think it tastes similar to my father? Since your father's life. Your father's life. I think your father tastes nicer. <laughs> Welcome to the second episode. Today we are going to be trying Batomi in ba the East. In the East. And so, we have two special guests joining us today. They are Jared and Alison. The best Easties in the office. <laughs> there have been some very interesting claims about what Batomi is. Is it dry? Is it soup? Is it vinegar? Is there mushroom? Is there liver? Is there mince? <laughs> and whether the best bar saw me exist in the East. Alright, so before we kick off today's episode, we just want to give a big thank you to Chris Plus, our sponsors for today. So if you love travelling or you want to rack up more miles, this is something you will want to hear. Yeah, so Chris Plus is Singapore Airlines Lifestyle Reward app and they've got a special campaign happening in October. The Chris Plus Birthday, Birthday Bash. Bash. So Chris Plus lets you earn miles when you pay with the app at partner merchants. The cool part is you can earn these miles on top of your usual credit card rewards ah. so you get to double dip you know Wait, so I can use my credit card and still get extra miles through Chris Plus? Exactly. And if you're already using miles credit cards, Chris Plus essentially just supercharges your earnings. Okay, so for those who don't know, right, what's so special about these miles? So the miles that you earn on Chris Plus are actually rewards that you can use to redeem free flights or upgrades on Singapore Airlines and Scoot. You can even use this for dining, shopping or hotels. Basically, the more miles you get, the closer you get to your next trip. Okay, so... What's happening for the birthday bash? From 1st October to 31st October, Chris Plus is offering three things. Number one, 10 miles per dollar at over 40 partners. This is way higher than usual, by the way. Number two, you have weekly chances to win miles and the total amount right, is enough to redeem SIA flights all the way to Europe. Whoa. And lastly, number three, they have exclusive birthday deals at popular merchants. So I can stack up miles fast just by doing my usual shopping? Exactly. So it's perfect for anyone who's trying to save on travel while earning more miles. You don't even have to change your spending habits. And got a chance to win free flights. So thanks again to Chris Plus for sponsoring this episode. Now go get those miles. Okay, we are at Tampines Street 43 and this is the best bar me in Singapore, hands down. Not so, to be confused with the three other coffee shops here. <laughs> and which are also at Block 47. <laughs> By my judgment, after eating here for 33 years. Whoa! From zero arrived, years old! <laughs> and one other person in the community. Okay. <laughs> so the menu is super simple. There's only two things. Bar Chow Mee dry, Bar Chow Mee soup. Okay. I have never eaten a dry, to be honest, because the soup is just so good. Mm. <laughs> uh, great, great great grandfather invented Mee Pok. Uh. A few moments later. The owner just gave us a fresh bowl because he wants us to eat it hot. Wow, bomb. Bomb. Guys, this is my first time eating Batom. I love it. Don't like Uncle know that when he serves a hot bowl, it's different. Once the food comes, must straight away put in your mouth. So inside the ingredients are meatballs, a lot of minced pork in the soup and pork lard, and this dumpling which is called kiao. I'm going to try the kiao. Me too. Cheers. The skin is really soft. So I think right, East Siders a bit weird. You all have your own version of bak which I think is great. And for this particular episode, since we're only doing bak chow in the East, right? These bak chow are so famous, like Bodo 85 and all that, right? Oh. Never mind, I give it its own ranking. But I want to say, <laughs> if I were to be on the hunt for bak chow and it's the, the one that I typically think of, right? This is not it. This is something else. It's a different kind of dish. That said, I think this is f***ing good. The, <laughs> the soup one is insane. Like, there's a very strong component of garlic integrated into the soup. If you like garlic, you're gonna love this, okay? The bak chow is also very, like, light. Like most bar chow it's quite grainy, it's quite ordinary. But this one seems to be a little bit fattier. It seems to be lighter than, than, than most others. I need to judge it based on this. The bar chow I know is like that one eh. Nice I'm confused. Yep. Okay. So the chili was a mistake. Wow, spicy yeah. But usually the typical bar chow that you expect ah, you expect a very strong vinegar flavour right? That flavour is what I was expecting. This is totally not it. This is more mm. like tami. It's like the stuff you get with fishball noodle. You want to know a fun fact? 
Okay, okay, go. It originated from Tan Lian Hock, ma. so the Tan Dynasty people created this dish. To mark if someone is your relative, your cousin, or a related store, right, it will always be this soup version. Ah. Oh. They will push their push cut all the way from Chai Chi area all the way to like the Simi stretch. Then it's nicknamed Han Shi Bek Noodle. So the uncle that has been very kindly serving us, right? I, when I came here, he was a young man with like a moustache and all that kind of stuff. And now his son has taken over, kind of joined the family business in a way. And right. so he was the one who changed the name to My Father's Bar Tommy when the store needed a sign change in 2018. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So that's why it's called My Father's Bar Tommy. To honor all the fathers who have been making the Bar Tommy in right. their life. See. Ranking system, you all know, right? John, recap. One is eat if you are here. Two is worth a small detour. Small detour. Three is make a trip to mm. eat this. Three, two, one. One, two. four, in five. Three. Wow. Okay, so averages up to a two. I think why I gave 1.5 is because when I imagine bar chow I feel like it's like the noodle will have a kick because of the vinegar and everything. When I taste this, I think it tastes a lot more bland as compared to my expectation. But the soup one is a lot more flavorful than the dry one. Yeah, which I yeah, yeah. still think it's kind of worth a try. So it's worth a small, small detour. Everybody else who's expecting but Tommy, mm. I think even if you come here and you order this and then you show up like that, right? And you eat, right? I think you'll still be happy because it's a very nice dish. My yeah. argument uh, is that these kind of stores that sell bar chow only sell bar chow. And that makes them the original. You And, and then the vinegar one usually comes with, uh, like, they also sell fish more noodle, like, they also sell like, don't know what. So it's just a part of their menu. It's just the same ingredients and then they throw me on top instead of a fish ball. So I think that is my argument. This is, uh, we, no, need no, stop, no. we need to stop the <laughs> soba tommy erasure, guys. Right? As you can tell, these two people live in the east. <laughs> <laughs> Location number two, this is called Jalan Tuakon Lao Ling Mi Pop. And the reason why I'm here, right? Because when I think of Bat Tommy, right? I think of this. Huh? Although, right, I realize this is not Bat Tommy. Huh? Not again? We haven't tried Bat Tommy this whole time. So, this is the second most like, upvoted in the community. Like, everybody was like, Jalan Tuakon, Jalan Tuakon. Okay. Then I was like, yes. Can I just say that the menu has no mention of mincemeat noodle at all? I ordered. <laughs> I ordered Mee Pok Dry. What? I realise it's a Singaporean thing because, right, but tell me, they serve it with Mee Pok typically. So a lot of people think like Mee Pok, right, is Bar Tom. That's what I thought. No! Oh, why are we here? Right. I feel no. cheated, eh. Hey, you asked me to change the design. <laughs> Basically, the only main is Mee Pok Dry. Okay, okay. And then we also ordered scenes to just equalize everything, the dumpling soup also. This is very near my secondary school, so every day after BDSL. school, right, I will come here and eat. Around here, right, there's three stalls, right, claiming they are like Jalan for Kung Ba Tom. Yeah, we oh, saw it. Oh, right. oh. <laughs> so I always get confused. So actually, I eat at every store before, and huh? to me, like, a bit no difference. We are actually at the one that's at the second Bedok floor. Marketplace. Yeah, yeah. Bedok yeah. Marketplace. All right, time to try the noodles. I like the noodles here a lot better than the previous place. No! Like just the noodles by itself. Oh! Can I just say this is the first time in my life I go at Iba Tommy, right? And two you know, locations in, right? I still don't taste vinegar. <laughs> 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 so, Edison has a fun fact about vinegar. But oh. until I taste vinegar, we're not going to review that one fact. Okay, okay. So, they got liver, which yeah. is usually found in Bar Tommy. Yeah, they have sliced pork. You know, I actually think this is fishball noodle. Look at these guys. This is <laughs> 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 this fun again. This no is the chili. same, but no chili. No chili. I don't know why he ordered no chili. Like, nobody. <laughs> no, nobody eats this chili. If it's no chili, you just go soup. Yeah, like. Yeah. I just wanted to know. Like, but the noodle by itself actually. No. Eh, no chili nice. I don't imagine it to be fast. No chili nice. Very nice. Why ah? Don't you think the spicy noodle tastes like coffee? Coffee? Coffee one time. No. That was. Oh. Oh, sorry. Ah, pork lard. Let's go. Ah, no, this is my time. Me. This is what this is what <laughs> coffee tastes like. Guys, don't you ah. think the spicy noodle tastes like coffee? Coffee? Coffee one time. Me. No. That was a oh. Oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so that wasn't you didn't have a point, uh? Oh no, you didn't have a point. No, no, no. Oh the oh. pork lard. Guys. Good, uh. Wait, wait, got more. Yeah. No, inside the noodles I have. Now the thing about this noodle I really like is the pork lard and the oil. Yes. Okay, review time, huh? Honestly, the noodle is very close to bar chow mee. I can understand why people confuse the two. Okay, okay. I think there are a few ingredients that are different. Yeah, but for the big. most part, right, the noodle experience is almost the same. And for this particular dish, uh, this location, uh, 
there's a sweetness to it that stands out in the noodle dish that makes it very very nice. Yeah. I don't know what it is that makes it sweet, right? And you can also taste the is it almost like a smokiness of the pork lard that is like infused with the noodle? It's the pork oil. Fucking solid. And then the dumpling, right? Honestly, to me, it tastes like siu mai soup. The dumpling is actually really good. It's a siu mai. Oh, you all prefer chili or non chili version? Say one, two, three. Non chili. Non-chili. I like this no, 3D version way better than the previous location. Just now I called Jaren stupid, but I already checked that because it's really damn nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both thing type. Okay. One, two, three. One. One. Oh! Unanimous? Unanimous. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so we ended earlier than expected. And at this point, we haven't really had a genuine bar chow mee. And we've decided that, okay, we have time to add one more stop, okay, to today's trip. However, the only other bar chow mee on this list is another soup type bar chow mee. But because many of you all voted it in the community, and since this is the story of the East, and apparently all the bar chow mees that are nice in the East are all soup type, we're just going to go and give it a shot as well. So the next one we're headed to is famous Yunos bar chow mee. We are at the third location. This is called famous Yunos bar chow mee. It is also a descendant. <laughs> Hello, yes. uncle. So there is only one size in this uh, store that they sell, 480. Okay. And the bowl looks a bit large, la. I think I think it's quite generous. Sizable, sizable. Sizable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the way they have like plated it, right? <laughs> wow. It looks damn delicious. The dry one especially. Before you get soggy, let's try the soup one first. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. okay. This amount of noodle for That's 480. Quite a lot. Soup is important. Soup first. There's also coriander in here. Oh my god. <laughs> really ah, really ah. The my, soup really... My expectations <laughs> going up okay. eh. Look at the amount of butter in the soup. The dumplings are getting better and better as we go. Okay. Did you all try Ooh. the dumplings? I tried the dumplings already. <laughs> this has no spice, right? Uh, wow, uh, clapping eh, uh, clapping. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, when uh, we ordered the, the dry one, he asked me, Yao la jiao, yao chu ma. And then I thought of you. It's not me, you think of the people. <laughs> so I say yes. <laughs> The noodle is al dente, but I prefer the other one, the other stock. What is this again? No, the other coriander. one is coriander. coriander. Have you had coriander with butter meat? The other one yeah. is not coriander, oh, right? Oh, is it? The, the ingredients are sweet. basically the same. I think the soup here is much more flavorful. Mm. But like, I don't know why that's not a... in the fishball noodle way. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's the coriander that's making it have the extra mm. Review time, review time. <laughs> I guess I'm going to go. It's good. Coriander flavor is mm. very strong, but his father one nicer. Mm. Thank you. Soup one. Mm. But that one is the best out of everything we've had today. Mm. And that one destroy all the rest. Destroy. Like, your father, my father, I don't care whose father. I don't care no. whose father. Whoever this one, the father, I'm ah. very much ah. This one has the right balance of flavors. Mm. It's a little strong though. It's correct. No, you, it's you weak. <laughs> okay, I, I do agree that the vinegar hit me quite hard. Hit you quite hard. Yeah. It's a bit jarring. I but it's supposed it's... to be like that. No, you go and ask, you go and ask people. Vinegar fact. Oh, I got a lot of vinegar fact. Finally, it's a great time for vinegar. So right, apparently, Bart told me originally don't have vinegar. It's this guy, he left out the noodle for too long, overnight. Then the one, he still sold it anyway. <laughs> the, the customer eat and say, eh, quite nice it's like sour. That guy, apparently, I think it's uh... Hawk. Alam. 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 I was going to say Leong. <laughs> so he decided to use vinegar as a sour profile because it was a hit among his customers. Unique, uh, unique. Then John Paul was born in. Alam. <laughs> they never look back, uh, you know. Usually, I have seven alam every morning. <laughs> As long as one person likes it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's break this place. Two, three, two. One. Oh. I give it a two because the location, you really, you know, it's MRT, right? This is worth getting off the oh, stock. Come here, get this comfort food. I think the oh, other yeah. locations are a bit harder to access if you don't drive, but this one's right next to the MRT. Can you explain why you rate one? Because this is not bat chow mee and this is okay if you compare it to all the other shit that we are going to try. Do you think it tastes similar to my father? Since they are Your father's mine. Your father the wet one better. <laughs> it's true. I think your father tastes nicer. Like <laughs> you know? <laughs> Last but not least, I have heard that this place is Michelin star, star, watashi was. 
okay. It's called Hill Street Thai Hua Pork Noodle Original guy He has a few sons la. So one of the sons opened this And another son opened the other one Which Jared really likes so, Near our old office uh-huh. There was also a oh. Thai Hua yeah, yeah, yeah. Mincemeat oh. noodles Which has an exact same aesthetic for the sign Other people also I think will come out with Hill Street something something So they put a notice there that we are the only But yo, the queue here damn long yeah, I think well. Jared and Edison queue for like what? Half 20, an hour. 20, 20 half an hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we finally got a dish. We got a dry one. Mm. And then turns out they also have a soup kway teow. Mm. So mm. we ordered that to try as well. Comes with liver, pork slice, the dumpling. Mm. The, and this special yeah. fish which is what a is fried that? flat oh. fish. It's mm. a very crispy, very almost hard, like kind of very salty preserved fish. So I do not eat liver. I, I don't like don't the smell. Also. Yeah, like I, the also, I also don't like it. But I usually order without and it's just as good. <laughs> Should we try to eat today? No. <laughs> okay, better be good. I think the biggest difference for this mm. soup one, right, is that the, I, like what you said, the mm. mi kia adds a taste to the soup. Yeah. But then this one is slightly <laughs> blender in comparison. It reminds me of chicken macaroni yeah. soup. It, yeah. it tastes like comfort food. Comfort food? Comfort food. Comfort food. This is like a prawn roll there. Hey, yeah. save some for us. The meatball nice yeah. Much it has a much easier bite to it as compared to the first place. For the sake of experimentation, I shall eat a liver. Wow! Eh, wow. Hey, you want to eat liver before? Yeah. Oh, the liver's good. The liver is yeah. good, right? Yeah. I don't eat liver. I hate liver because it's damn, damn gamey. Okay. But I don't know why here don't feel like powdery, disgustingness. Okay, okay, time to swap. Me. Okay, so far it looks very promising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, the vinegar is just right. It's so balanced, right? It's not mm. like mm. Give me, give us back, give us back that one. I prefer you know. <gasps> can one, no, can you one, taste the tomato? This one not hitting me. Oh, that's Can you taste tomato? Is it? Tomato no. sauce. I can taste it. I don't like it. Even this, right, is not bad to me. Wow. It's, like, it's damn close to, but it's not the Wait, complete what? final one. <laughs> when, when in my life will I try an actual bato I think it's nice. I don't eat the liver. So if I took out the liver, I would be inhaling this. The noodles were very well done. I, I what I wish they would do right is that they would like either crush up or break, crack up the the crispy the fish and scatter it around mm. the noodle. This is definitely the best bowl that we've had today. So like what Alison has mentioned, the noodle is the best noodle, and the vinegar is at the level that I wish the previous yeah, shop was it's at. It's very balanced. Mm. Yeah. So I agree that everything feels more infused. It feels like there's more layers as I eat. Mm. Right. Yeah. So right, I can right, taste right. the vinegar. I think that there is the tomato, and then after that, there's the actual bite of the noodle and the taste of the, a bit a light edginess mm. to it. The soup tastes a lot more like seaweed soup to me. Yeah. You don't have as much of the bato inside, but after you eat the noodle, then with the soup, I think I can understand why. Mm. Yeah. Because I yeah. think it bal- like. What we've talked about, right? Like, there's that balance now. So let's vote, ah, uh. two, one, Two, one point five. Oh, okay. I also changed to one point five. Hey, what? <laughs> oh. No, because I keep thinking of uh, the queuing. I really do, and all these yeah. other components, right? Yeah. Like, even though it's like a ten minute walk from Lavender MRT, right? I think it'll take ten the minutes. Okay. The, about the same time as it would to get to say my father's. For me, the reason why it's one point five is queuing. Yeah. I mm. think case wise. We haven't tried the best dry version of bato mee yet. Yeah. I also think that the price point affected mm. me quite a bit. Like if I had to pick one of these four places to go and eat, right? Mm. Where would we recommend people to go? One, two, three. Your my father. Hey, oh, my father. Oh. Oh. Everybody say my father. My no, no, I said you know. Oh. Okay, don't get, get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, Uncle. <laughs> Just <laughs> cut so out, Jared. After <laughs> saying all this throughout the whole trip, right? Then when it's when no, no, come no. to shop, you know. I love, I love, love. <laughs> I think I have expressed how much I love my father's bar Except me. when it counts. <laughs> like, I cannot understate the convenience of the oh, Yunos okay. one. Like, it's really just get out of Yunos MRT, walk five minutes, yeah. you're there. No, okay, I think that for, for Jared, right, it's like he's, he grew up eating this. So mm. for people who grew up thinking that like there's this soup version, I think if you want to try, go to Yunos and try their dry version. Mm, mm. Yeah, I think yeah. we've actually tried quite a, like, the variety of what but people might Confused uh, yeah. or debate as much yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad. Eh? I think today we learned a very interesting lesson. <laughs> <laughs> that there are many different kinds of bato mee, and all are valid. Yes, right. Oh. All are valid. Okay, so that's the end of the episode. I guess we are all picking your father, my father, as the best place that we recommend for bato mee so far. Yes. In the east, and if there's another food or another location you want us to explore. Again, you guys recommend we go and try. So let us know in the comments down below and we'll see you guys in the next one.
Bye-bye. Please join our community to suggest some good and food we, places to us. And we hope that one day us. we can get to have one bowl per yep. person. <laughs> <laughs> one bowl per person! That's the goal. One bowl per person! Really one bowl per person! One time when we were out on the show and I asked him what is one dish that you can only eat at one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Then he think for the entire lunch, right? Then he, at the end of it, he say, I really can't decide. <laughs> <laughs> no, my answer is French fries. For what? the rest of your life, just everything. Wow, just fries. No proteins at all. <laughs> if you uh -huh. mash it, mash okay, potatoes. It's it's if you know how to slice, 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 hash brown. You can even make the Korean the snack and then like crop, then got the. <laughs> <laughs> it's a form of, it's a version it's of a fry. Have yeah. you thought about it before? Right? You are bloated, you are so full, ah. But with fries. And up. there are a couple of fries on the tray, right? You telling me you're not reaching? <laughs> you telling me you're not inching each one in and down your gullet? Oh, <laughs> <laughs>